and welcome to the eighth episode of the Power Star podcast. And as usual, I'm not alone. I have with me Shelfie. Hey, hey. And Milo. Hey, what's up? And man, eighth for German to say is horrible, but okay. <laughs> Because we don't have a TH in our language, but that's a different story. So, nine days and it's E3 time. But before we talk E3, let's talk about a little something else that happened. The ARMS test punch. So, did you guys play? And how much did you play of it? Yeah. Yeah, I played. Uh, and I played both weeks. I didn't play this week because... It's so damn hot over here, but <laughs> and I played last week. I was sweating for the whole hour like crazy, like damn. <laughs> and I played. I... Oh well, you first. Yeah. And I didn't want to play with standard controls because this game was built for motion, so I wanted to experience the motion controls. So, yeah, so I just had to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I played last week and this week, definitely way more um, this week, like yesterday, simply because I had more time um, than I did like last week. I played a little bit on, I don't remember if it was last Saturday, but I really didn't like uh, the volleyball mode that they had to oh, offer. Yeah. And they just had <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, they just had like more fun stuff to offer. Um this like past weekend and they had twin tails so Queen. yeah essentially Dude, it's all it needs demand. to be said <laughs> but Nintendo doesn't listen to the people <laughs> <laughs> well you know like thick tail will uh I will like her <laughs> gosh yeah. um yeah no I played I actually played with the pro controller um, and the reason was because I forgot to charge my Joy-Cons, and then they were, like, basically, oh. they were dead. And I was like, oh no, I have to play with the Pro Controller, this is not going to be nearly as good. But then when I played with the Pro Controller, it was really fun. Like, it, I, I really enjoyed the Pro Controller, and now I don't think it can go to motion control for the game. Like, I, oh, I really enjoyed it. it. You have to try it. I know. I do. I try. The, the bad part is, like, I tried it, like, because I charged it the next day, so I wanted to try it out. But, like, also, you don't go through the tutorial again, so I had no idea what I was doing. So I was just, like, trying to understand, and I just failed. So I'm like, now nah, I'm going back to Pro Controller. It, uh, you need to get used to it, but it happens really quickly, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have played with motion it. controls more, like, if I could have gone back to the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. We had one tutorial and then nothing anymore after this. It was. I don't know why they did that, but. It would be great if there was, like, an option. Just, like, a little side option if you wanted to, to uh, do the tutorial again. But there was this warm up mode you could go into. Where true. You could smash targets, That's true. So. That is true. So I guess that would be it. Yeah, it's not. They don't explain stuff in there, but you could still just fool around and check it out. Yeah, that's true. And I was killing it. And my main, surprisingly, the character I liked the most was uh, Mechanica. Really? Yeah. Ah. Not a lot of people like to play with her, but she's good, for me at least. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, hmm. if you figure out the strength of that character that you're playing as, you're gonna be good at this game, and her strength is, if you if, if you get close, she wrecks you. Right. If you fight yeah. Mechanica, you have to fight her from distance because if you get close, you're done. <laughs> yeah, just like Master Mummy. Yeah, that's similar yeah. in that regard. Yes. Yeah, like I played um, Ninjara the most, and I became really good with them, and then. For the second week, I want to try to do a twin tail, and I also got really good with her. So I think the jars will be my main, but like twin tail will be like my second person I play. And okay. um, I guess the least favorite player, I, I tried Helix, and I really didn't like him. Oh, Helix sucked for me too. I really didn't yeah. like it. Yeah. I guess Helix is one of those characters you really have to learn to be good at. Yeah. He, he, he's strategic. He's like strategical, like 
whatever that works. But uh, he's like, I, I guess like he'll be a really good player when people really know how to play him. Yeah. But like I noticed like throughout a lot of the test punch, at least the games I played, not much people played Helix. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw him the least, which I was kind of surprised by because there are lots of like different random internet posts about him, but mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. see him like at all. Yeah. And then, you know, I thought more people would be playing Twin Tail, but like not like not nearly as much people played Twin Tail as I thought she was, they were, she was going to get played. I think most people just continue to play with their main character which they liked um, yeah. last week, so they continue to play with that character. Yeah. It was all Min Min. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That was it. The whole yeah. first punch. Min Min. Two words. <laughs> just, That's all yeah. you need to know. That's dude, that's very true because like, I remember like I I was playing one of the matches and there was like seven Min Min and then I was just in the Jara and I was just like, really? But really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Am I the yeah. only one here? <laughs> yeah. Like, am I such a loner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Min Min is cool, but the dragon was weird for me to use, so. Yeah. I skipped her, went to Mechanica, or no, Master Mummy first. Oh, this is pretty cool, he's good. Then I chose Mechanica and I was wrecking it. I was killing people like crazy. This was amazing. <laughs> right, right. What about you, Emma? Who did you play? I played almost exclusively Twintel last weekend. Okay. I don't know, I just, I had a lot of trouble the first weekend, like a lot, a lot of trouble with whoever I played. I played a little bit of Springman, I guess I was okay right. with, but then once something just clicked in that third session that I played, I was like, oh my gosh, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. And I just, I started mowing people over. I went from winning like three matches in like the entire hour to like maybe losing twice in the entire hour. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's like, cool. I, I agree with that too because like, Last week, I kind of was like, I was good at Ninjara, but I was using grab a lot. And I was like, I really don't want to play the whole game just grabbing people, you know? So yeah. then I was like, how do I, how can I get good? And then I've learned. I finally like, clicked with me too this week up with Ninjara. I, I now know how to kill everyone. <laughs> Some people got pretty salty and complained, this game should be called grabs because everybody is just grabbing the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, but it's because like nobody really knew how to play yeah. the game. But last week, everyone was just like per- like trying it out and you know just mm-hmm. experimenting. But like now, people like people got really good at the game. Yeah, I think. Oh, I really want to play the single player mode for all characters when it comes out. Yeah, just to yeah. really oh, get some time with everybody, so get better with them. And uh, absolutely, what, what arms did you choose to fight with? If you Chilla. Uh, That's it. Just chill chilla out. the whole time. Yeah, that was like once I started consistently playing Twin Tail. Yeah. Just chilla. That's all I needed. <laughs> um, mine was oh, shoot. I forget the names for it. Um, yeah, I don't know my names either. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Um, if you've ever played Ninjara, you know the the the, the fist, the glove. Yeah. I uh, and then like the little like plane arm thing where it shoots three like bomb things out oh and, like, yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah that so i played i played with the gloves and that and then with twin tail i played with the gloves and then parasol i played huh. with um mechanica has like also a thing that shoots three missiles which is pretty fast and i used yeah. on the other arm her hammer which is slow but powerful so it's a good mix right. that hammer blows through Absolutely everything. Oh, as does uh, Master Mummy's bowl thing. That yeah. Thing. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. When when uh when we were playing Headlock and I was like teamed up with Ma- Mechanica and Master Mummy when they were doing the special, I'm like I'm just gonna sit back and just watch them kill them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what happened to me when I was playing? It was a. Two versus two match, and three seconds after the match started, my partner disconnected, and I was alone. Oh, that happened to me uh. so many times. Oh, and you can imagine how this ended. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I know what you exactly what you mean. Getting more fisting than a porn star when you're alone against two people. Oh, <laughs> like, <seriously. laughs> oh yeah. No, I was playing um, Headlock. Oh, yeah, I was fighting Headlock at level six. 
a level six headlock. Okay, yeah. we were about to kill him, and then my <laughs> connection got cut. My connection got cut. I was like, no, but why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is a uh, rated M podcast, so you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I had no chance against two people. It's almost impossible. Unless you have oh, like, yeah. two noobs who never played, <laughs> then you might, yeah. then you could do it. But two people who know what they're doing against one, no chance. <laughs> well, it was actually funny because I remember one match. Um, it was two versus two, and both of us were Ninjara, and I died. And they were like on the red, but my partner was also on the red, and he had a special. <laughs> I'm like, use your special, <laughs> oh, kill yeah. them, and then he didn't use them. I'm like, oh my god, they died. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people forget the special, at least from yeah. what, what I'm seeing. They're almost dead, they have special, but they don't use it. Yeah, like, never never forget your special. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, who are you, Emma? Um, anything interesting? I actually, now that you mention headlock level 6, I never saw a headlock level 6. Really? I was yeah, I was mostly getting fours and fives and like yeah. it was kind of fifty fifty whether uh me and my team could beat those. Yeah. But the level threes were definitely easy to take down, but the fours and fives kinda of varied depending who you had. True, like I the level six was the only I only saw one, that was the one I fought, and then after that I only got three, four and five. Hmm. Um but I heard there was a level seven too. Damn. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Hey. Oh, that would be really... Gosh. <laughs> there were previews uh, going up for this game, and in, the, in those previews they said you have to beat the story mode with level 4, or otherwise you can't play ranked matches online. Yeah. Well, which will be level 4 um, headlock isn't that hard. But alone? Who knows? Three That's true. Oh boy. But alone? <laughs> That's true. He might become... Oh dear. But I have but to like, they get rid of that time limit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I think they give you more time if you are playing single player. Well, I know in the, um, in the, re in the campaign, um, there's like, um, like rounds. So it's like round one and round two. So maybe that's how they do it. Yeah. I can't wait for the single player because there's a lot to do, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not like Splatoon, there's actually a lot to do in this game. Yeah. You have to unlock um, arms, in, or you can unlock arms in single player, you can have 10 characters to play the story mode with, so it's yeah, definitely I've... better than Splatoon when it launched. Yeah. Um, what? Did you guys like Hoops? I haven't played Hoops, because I haven't played this, this weekend. <laughs> better, but... Eh. It's like it alright. I found it like easier to win than um, volleyball. I mean, like, but I feel like I feel like most of the time, no one will really play hoops and volleyball. I feel like and and skill shot. Well, actually, no, I guess you have to play skill shot. But like hoops and volleyball, I feel like they're gonna be forgotten. I can see that. I definitely enjoyed skill shot out of those three the most because yeah. I would just like the other person would be too like focused on trying to mess me up. <laughs> and I just like jump around and get all the targets, and then if I landed a grab, okay, cool, I slowed you down. But like, people in that game were too focused on like what their objective wasn't. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, mind you, I'm like, you know, like, get the targets. <laughs> like in Splatoon, yeah, I know. when everybody <laughs> runs off on turf four and the home base isn't inked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Yeah, I remember like last week when I played volleyball, um, some glitch, a glitch happened. I don't know what happened, but a glitch happened. And every time I shot, like I hit the ball and it blew up in the other person's court, they got my points. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the, like, what is happening? <laughs> like, is this part of the game? Like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I don't understand how those physics work in this mode. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. They're just, they're not good. They're, they're yeah. not good. In volleyball? Yeah. Yeah. Specifically? Yeah, no. Volleyball pissed me off, to be <laughs> me quite too. frank. <laughs> they're, I was they're like... Just... Yeah. 
I was like, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it, but why isn't it doing anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. But you know what pissed me off even more? What? One versus one versus one. Oh, yeah. If oh, you're in I the middle of two people, of oh, man. It's so yeah. many. <laughs> like, everyone teamed up on me. I'm just like, really, guys? Yeah. Wait, really? <sighs> well, one guy yeah. trying to hide and wait until one guy is down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I did when it was one versus one versus one versus one. I hid in the corner and they're all fighting. I just waited till they're all like little, like red health and I killed them all. <laughs> the problem <laughs> is when you're in between two people in this mode. This is bad. Oh, yeah, they play monk in the middle. Yeah. So, 16th, this is games comes out. This is in 11 days. Are you guys not, eating not at long. lunch? Oh yeah, I, I try to, yeah. Yeah? I wasn't sold at first, but I think I'm gonna go for it now. Like, if yeah. you had asked me that same question last weekend, I would have been like, eh. But I think I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I think, no, I agree. I think the test punch really sold this game to a lot of people, so... Yeah, because people, like, a lot of people thought it was just gonna be one of those, like, no, like, not much content. Yeah. Like, it's gonna get really boring really fast, but I don't think I don't think so. Like I think it's gonna be a really competitive kind of game. Yeah, me too. Especially with the DLC coming. Oh yeah, maybe if they announce the first DLC at E3. Maybe. They Let's should. See. That would be a smart move. They should announce like a brand new character and Luffy. like a new stage. <laughs> Luffy, yes. Yeah. Luffy, uh, oh, that'd be amazing. A Game Informer actually asked the arms producer. Um, about Luffy, and he said, oh yeah, it does extend his arms, right? But he also said it's a very different universe, though he didn't fill out say no, but he was kind of like saying it's very unlikely, let's put it this way. Luffy would be so amazing in arms, like he would, he would, um, like it would just be amazing, like I think he would do so well, I would, I think I would be, I'd made Luffy, he'd be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it happens because a lot of people want it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's possible. I mean it's like it's, it has a much better chance of happening than you know like Banjo and Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, Goku. <laughs> Goku. Yeah. Oh, Goku. Do not do not even start with Goku. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob. Goku and SpongeBob, SpongeBob are the best <laughs> characters. <laughs> you can't forget Shrek in there. Oh, Shrek, oh, yes, Shrek, go through Shrek, yeah. <laughs> they should just do, like, like when they announced Smash Brothers um, Switch, they should just, like, adapt, like, they should be like, guys, the three biggest characters you want is Goku, SpongeBob, and uh, Shrek, and then everyone gets super excited, and be like, and guess what, that's never happening, and then just move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, anything else about ARMS? Um, I'm hyped. Oh, and can I just say this game looks freaking gorgeous on TV? Oh, yes. That's the only way I played it over the weekend, and yeah, I did enjoy too. the the looks. <laughs> it looks really good. Definitely. I have one more thing about Twintel, too. So, did you guys uh, ever manage to, like, land a grab with her? Nope. Because I haven't played so, this weekend. I did. Okay, so you know when sh she grabs and then she like takes like one ponytail and like flings the player <laughs> yeah. with it, right? And yeah. she'll like say something yeah. when oh, it's it's she French. does that. Yeah. Okay, really? Because I thought yeah. I kept hearing goodbye, but it also sounds like opai, which is boobs in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so like every time she said that, that's all I could hear was opai, opai. I'm like, okay, like. Yes. But yeah, no, I was like, I don't think you guys noticed, but that's like the only well, thing I can think of now. I was watching <laughs> someone play in the live stream, and yeah, the chat deducted its French oh, and the translation for it, but I don't remember what it's translated, but it's French. I thought, I thought she said Opa. <laughs> Opa? Oh my gosh. Now that's all you're going to be able to hear when she grabs <laughs> No, I think I can't unhear Opai now. <laughs> 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 and 
and she is kind of a little bit like Bayonetta from her character. So, Opai you know, is not too see, far yes. off. <laughs> <laughs> True words. <laughs> Bayonetta would be cool with wicked weave arms. <laughs> Oh, true. <laughs> that would work as well. Mm. Oh man, too much options for my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it about ARMS. Let's talk about E3. It's already E3 time. And yeah, Nintendo sure. will not have a live conference, but the Nintendo Spotlight, which I'm pretty sure it's basically a digital event, but maybe something's different about it, I don't know. But I guess it's like a digital event in the previous years, so... Yeah. And Mario Odyssey is gonna be a game they focus on. And Super high! Yeah, I can't wait for more Mario Odyssey. And predictions wise, Nintendo is always so freaking hard to predict. <laughs> mm, yes. I mean, I thought about it for the last few days and I can't come up with much. Except at le there will be at least something nobody will see coming. At least one game or something that people will be like, huh, I didn't, visit I didn't see this one coming. Mayor Rabbids of uh, <laughs> Kingdom Battle. Oh. <laughs> uh. God. Oh, yeah, this will be there. <laughs> must we speak like... of that? Oh, we must. <laughs> the thing is, Mario RPG, cool. RPG yeah. from Ubisoft, okay, why not? But why rabbits? Why? Because rabbits are the best characters in history, honestly. Like, God. <laughs> I mean, Raymond, yeah, awesome, do this. Rabbits, hell no. <laughs> Did you see that image of, um, it was like an image of like Mario asking, it was like, it looked like Mario was asking Rayman if he wanted to team up for a game. Oh, and yeah. Was like, yeah, I have so many friends. And then it's like, actually, I was talking to him. And then it showed the rabbits, like, <laughs> yeah. the rabbit things. <laughs> and Rayman was just like really depressed. <laughs> but that uh, leak that came out about what the game is about also said stuff like, Oh, you can blow your character up until uh, the enemy up until he explodes. And a lot of it sounds like it's more geared towards kids from the humor, so... Well, like, the slides itself, they say, like, a badass, like, what, would she say badass princess for, like, Peach or something? Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> but I kind of get, like, when people first saw, like, the image, the first, like, a Peach rabbit, like, like when everyone's, like, really disgusted with it. <laughs> Like, I kind of I get it because, like, it was just, like, the first image was Peach as a rabbit taking a selfie. <laughs> yeah. It's not very good. Let me just say this about the game. If the gameplay looks really, really good, then I might consider playing it. <laughs> yeah. they need to do a lot of convincing. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're gonna have to have a really good trailer at E3, like a, like a really hype trailer. Yeah, but I think this game might even pop up at Ubisoft's conference. Yeah, it's they might like I could see Ubisoft showing like a teaser for it, and the mayor yeah. show, and then showing like the full trailer. Oh, but it will be at Treehouse Live for sure if it's launching if it's launching oh, this year. Uh, oh, it's it's apparently launching in two months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this crazy, this close already. Yeah. Yeah, like that's insane. Yeah. And oh and they will focus on twenty seventeen, not only twenty seventeen, so I expect a few twenty eighteen titles as well. Oh it will but, happen, like Yeah, but what could those be? <laughs> Smash well Smash Bros Switch will probably get announced. Yeah, if it's a port of the new version, probably. Yeah. If it's a new one, and we won't hear about it for a while, I think. Yeah. Like, I'm hoping, like, I'm, I'm hoping, the only way I feel like I would buy Smash Bros. Switch, like, because I didn't buy Mario Kart Deluxe, I feel like I, the only thing I would do is, like, if it was the Wii, Wii U version and the 3DS version combined. Ooh. 
Ooh, all the stages combined would be yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, I like that mode. It's like, because then they would just make the ultimate Smash Bros. Yeah, definitely. And it, had, it would have enough content for me where I could be like, okay, I could buy this. Where like Mario Kart 8, it didn't really have new con- much content, where it's worth 70, 80 bucks. But yeah, in Canada, 80 bucks. <laughs> 80 bucks, yeah, so I have to select my games wisely. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I would buy it, probably, if nothing else, nothing else is there to play in that time frame, but I have to wait and see. Yeah. Maybe it's even a new one and we won't hear about it at all This E3. No one knows, because we've been hearing about Smash on Switch for so long now. That is true. That is that like uh, well like back of the end like, days already. <laughs> if it is happening, like it'll, it'll release like probably it'll release in 2018 because I think like like I think that would be the title they would wa- launch the whole pay like service mm-hmm. kind of thing, and like it just there's no room for Smash this year, really. If yeah, you can, if you can release every month. Yeah, I think every month is already taken if Mario Kingdom Battle is releasing this fall. Yeah. Maybe December we... is still free, I believe. If Odyssey is launching in November, I think one month is still free. Yeah. Others are taken. Well, and I think Odyssey... Yeah, oh, Xenoblade 2, yeah. It needs a month too, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Forgot about if that Xeno... one. <laughs> if Xeno... Well, if Xenoblade 2 doesn't get delayed, it'll probably release in December, like Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah. And then if Pokemon gets announced, um, and if it's releasing this year, that will take October. And then we have Mero Rabbids, and then we have Fire Emblem Warriors, so then every month yeah. will be taken. And I think November will be Mario, because... Oh, like it will. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That has Mario to be, be their November game for Black Friday. Can, like, can you imagine Nintendo launch both Pokemon and Mario in October and November, like, sales-wise? Could we imagine It'll Nintendo launching... <laughs> Could we imagine I don't Nintendo think launching... Pokemon's happening. Uh, it's gonna happen, but this year, I don't know. Well, this is like, I wouldn't believe... If it, was, if it, if it didn't come from Eurogamer, I, like, I would not believe it at all. But, like, because Eurogamer does have reliable sources, and they do know what they're talking about, and they still are pushing Pokemon's releasing this year. Oh, I have to see. I have to wait till E3. If it doesn't get announced yeah. at E3, then it's not happening. <laughs> but still, we got Zelda this year, we got Mario Kart, even if it's just a port, but it's Mario Kart. Yeah. We're gonna get Mario this year, Xenoblade 2 possibly, and a new IP with ARMS. We get Splatoon 2. This year is insane. Yeah, like this year, like it took it took almost five years for the Wii U to have like a decent amount of first party titles, and the Switch will have that in just like not even like a year, twelve months. So we have it in nine months, months, basically. Yeah. Nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, why, Emily Rogers is right. That's why uh, Wii U was so dry the last one or two years because they, they were already working on the Switch games. Yeah. Like, I, I have to give my props to Emily Rogers. She knew exactly what she was talking about. Yeah, she said something like, the first year of Switch should blow away the four years of you or something like this. Yeah, she, yeah, she's, that's what she said. Like, you know, yeah. like, Switch will kill everything. <laughs> like, she was right. But a uh, little bit afraid that if they have this much games now, what's 2018, we'll 2019? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Well, okay, so like, Retro's title could be announced at E3. Could be, yeah, for 2018. And then, and then Animal Crossing. Yeah, and because then of the mobile game. Yeah, and then like, let's say if the Switch sells a lot, you know, continues to sell, third parties aren't going to be able to ignore it forever. Like, they can't ignore it forever, no matter what. Probably so, is getting parts for the Switch right now. Yeah. If you so have like, news. <laughs> yeah. So like, like you know, like Nintendo will team up more for, and then there's Platinum, the Platinum game. Nintendo will team up more for with yeah. third parties. Hopefully, third parties will release. Well, hopefully, Western third parties will release more third party titles like Multiplats. Yeah, probably. And that way, Nintendo doesn't need to stress <coughs> about having a month. Yeah. 
because instead of basically marketing Minecraft as their their you know huge main title, rightfully so, yeah. it's doing well. So yeah, Minecraft always does well, actually. Exactly, they they push that. Yeah, they were really smart in uh, how they schedule their games this far. Yeah. So, what could they do at E3? Uh, I think the tournaments at E3 will be important for the games too, for Arms and Splatoon 2. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I'm super hyped to watch Arms and Splatoon 2 tournament. Yeah. When is the Splatoon 2 one? Because I do enjoy, I do want to watch that at least. I 13th. think on 13th already. 13th, yeah. Uh, uh, Splatoon 2 is 13th, Arms is 14th. Oh, okay. I have work on the 13th, too. But well, Nintendo maybe. uploads it to YouTube, so... Yeah, no, like I should. after one or two days, I believe. But what time... Um, what, is it? Uh, what time do you work? Because like, it will probably be a, probably in the after evening. Oh, wait. Uh, you guys. Mm. I have work from... Oh lord, seven thirty in the morning to about six in the evening. God damn, it's okay. a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know. Oh, because I don't know your time, but like I know my time. Um, this the Smash Bros. Invitational was like, I think it was at like eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, then it would then it would be later in the evening, but yeah. 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 I have three weeks off now. I had three weeks sick, and now I have three weeks vacation time, which I'm surprised right. I still got, <laughs> but I did. So. Yeah, I actually I have um, lucky. I don't know how I got it, but I have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. Yeah, that's Dang. awesome. Yeah, I was lucky. But um, for announcements, I don't know. Like they. Uh, hmm. Well, let me ask blank. this question. What would be the game for you that could announce where you would freak out about? I would be completely hyped. Uh, this is so guys... cliche, but Animal Crossing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because like my like three favorite game series are Pokemon, Splatoon, and Animal Crossing, and uh, we had Splatoon. And it's about that time for an Animal Crossing game. Like, yeah. they come out every four or five years, and what was it? it was June 2013 when the last one came out. So it's about that time. Mm -hmm. What? And what? Oh, go ahead. No, you first. Oh, I was gonna say, what changes? What would you want them to add to Animal Crossing that you know no other Animal Crossing had? Lord. Let me think for a second, and you share your game. Uh, well, because, like, the reason I asked that because I, I just, I want to know what the whole, like, thing with Stardew da Valley was about, so I looked it up, and it looks really good. Like, there's a lot of things in it that I feel like Animal Crossing could copy, <laughs> kind of thing, so that's why. But, um, I guess my dream game, um, oh, shoot, that is tough, um, would be, well, okay, like, I think I would be really excited, and I don't know why, but I feel like it'd be so amazing if they either announced, A, a new Star Tropics, <laughs> or a 3D Earthbound game. <laughs> oh, Earthbound is a good one. This could actually happen for a virtual console. Yeah, like Mother 3 is happening, so maybe yeah. if they're really happy with the sale, we'll finally get a new Earthbound game. I'm going go. I'm going to say they will announce Metroid this year because of what Bradley said earlier this year. But this is not my most hyped game. My most hyped game would be Bayonetta three or anything similar to it. Wonderful one o two maybe, because right. it has some similarities. Oh, that's a good choice. Actually, I didn't think of that. Yeah. But uh, the producer was already, or the producer for the second one was already talking about Bayonetta three, so. So it sounds like it's not in development at this point. Like 
he said they are discussing it internally, but that's about it. Right. Unfortunately, so it's very unlikely to show up this E3. Yeah, like I don't like I don't know, announced the Switch title, so we'll guess we'll see what that is. Yeah. Scale could... now on Nintendo Switch. Oh, God. <laughs> it would just be like it would just have a completely different name and different characters. Bound to scales. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about where? What about what about from software? Dark Souls with Mario. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, and rabbits. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Dark Souls. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> oh, man. But um, but um, um, no. But I think because they they are like they are, I guess probably working on the Switch since you know they were on the third party thing. So, yeah. like, I wonder if they would be making Dark Souls. Like, there's rumored the Dark Souls trilogy on Switch, which would be amazing. But also, it'd be really cool if they didn't teamed up and made, like, another, like, side, like, Dark exclusive, like, not, like, Dark Souls, but, like, something like Bloodborne, but not Bloodborne, obviously, yeah. but something like that. <laughs> on Switch. So, a Bloodborne clone, which is a Dark Souls clone. Basically, exactly. Well, like I don't know. Like I think, like Zelda should show should show from software that Nintendo gamers like hard games. Like Zelda was very difficult, so um, like it would be really cool if they were like, you know what? Let's make a really hard game on the Switch. Yeah, make Donkey Kong hard. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong series. Comic <laughs> <laughs> uh, was pretty damn hard. So yeah, that's true. I mean, okay, if Retro Studios is not making a Metro game, but making either a another Nintendo IP or b a brand new IP, what would you want it to be? A new IP, I think. Yeah. Because Nintendo could use new IPs. Um, I mean, they have Splatoon and ARMS, but I think Retro Studios would uh, make a great game if Nintendo gave them the freedom to do a new IP without completely taking control. So they could do a little bit of what they want to do. Yeah. So And Metroid, another studio can make Metroid. It doesn't have to be Retro in my eyes. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I mean, everybody hates Metroid Other M, and everyone hates that Nintendo gave to Team Ninja. But you know, maybe Team Ninja just wasn't full, wasn't like the right company for Metroid. I mean, yeah. like, there's many companies out there that that could make a really good Metroid game. But it's not Metro. Maybe Platinum Games, an action-oriented Metroid game, 3D. Oh, no, everyone wants work. Platinum to make every single Nintendo game. <laughs> No, but I think Metroid could work as an action-oriented title. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it could I think, have slower uh, paces in it, but you have to scan the environment and stuff. Yeah. So wait, what about what about three? Um, who made by who made uh, uh, who makes Destiny again? Not Activision, uh, Bungie, but like Bungie. Bungie, yeah. The Bungie former Halo guys. Developing a, yeah, Bungie developing a Metroid game. <laughs> <laughs> Could work, but that would be pretty. I mean, like, I feel like oh, I feel like they kind of turned Metroid into Halo, but like in what way? Like, I feel like that might be a, an advantage. <laughs> I think they are too busy with Destiny too. Yeah, it would be pretty epic though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Anything else? Do you think we'll get any Fire Emblem, like actual like, Fire Emblem, not Warriors, but the RPG? Oh, any trailer? Maybe CG, but I don't think they'll show the game this early. But they yeah. did show Awakening. No, not Awakening. The Fates was shown pretty early, so maybe. That's true. I mean, like, and um, the, the, the company, um, they, they said that Fire Emblem graphics will be beautiful. And that's like, yeah. like, Super, they're hyping the graphics up, so that's the first time Nintendo really was hyping 
up graphics for a game because usually they like they talk about the graphics, but they won't really like I don't know you know you know Nintendo they, it's not really their thing to really brat about the graphics yeah. where you know but like it was, so it's an interesting take that Nintendo was like yes the graphics should be amazing hey. <laughs> The Mario game is 1080p. Get hyped, people! <laughs> See, and Mario Odyssey is 1080p and 60 FPS. Oh my god! Could be. I mean, Arms is 1080p, 60 frames per second too. So that's true. Mario Kart is. True. Mario Kart looks but, gorgeous. It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's true. I mean, Zelda isn't, uh, but Zelda is a Wii U game, a Wii U port, so. Yeah, Zelda had a lot of, like, Zelda was, yeah. Just like how New Super Mario Bros. U could have easily been 1080p, but it wasn't. Yeah, who knows. But the Switch is a lot easier to develop for, so... Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, I don't really care if it's 1080p or not. I know the internet will care a lot about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, like... <laughs> Search in, a search and forum will go crazy over it. Oh yeah. I remember when the frame rate patch came out for Zelda and everyone was convinced the graphics look worse. Because they had oh, you know, yeah, the graphics. I remember that. It was like that one. It's better. It was that one guy's like there's yeah. it's impossible for Nintendo to like fix the there's it's possible for Nintendo to fix it without downgrading something, so yeah. the graphics must be worse. <laughs> and they get digital foundry cam and said, Nope, everything looks the same, it runs smoother. Period. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that what? was the end of this discussion. <laughs> yeah, everyone laughed at him. <laughs> yeah. Um What okay, do you think do you think that we could possibly get a ukulele release date on Switch? Probably. I have it on PC but I wanna play it on uh, the Switch. But yeah. I already encountered one thing in this game this that pisses me off. <laughs> What's that? I haven't played it in quite a while. I've played it. First world was correcting stuff, okay. Then I wanted to proceed to the second world. But before you can get there, there was a stupid ass quiz about the game with 10 questions, and I remembered nothing. Because uh... I haven't touched the game in a while. I was like, oh fuck it, I just left the game and never touched it again after this. <laughs> well, I guess you just have to wait for the Switch version. <laughs> or just look for the solution online. <laughs> That's true, if you do that. <laughs> That'd probably be the fast right I was here. asking myself, why is this even in there? This makes no sense. This is not fun. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I... People, like, I've you know, seen the reviews, I've seen people's opinions, they like it, but not everyone loves it. And you know what? I fund, I helped co-fund the game. I yeah, donated too. money. So, like, I'm going to play it no matter what. <laughs> I remember what I played. It played fine. It played a lot like Ben Shokasui. Which I think yeah. is a problem for a lot of people too, because Bencho Kasui didn't age well gameplay wise. That's like, the thing. Really people, didn't. people, people really wanted a modern Banjo Kazooie, and this is what a modern Banjo Kazooie would be. <laughs> people yeah. don't remember. That's just it. like Crash Bandicoot. Just like Crash, how everyone's super hyped for Crash Bandicoot, but when they play it, not everyone's going to love it because it's going to yeah. play like old Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I played Bench Kasui a lot, and I still, for some reason, really remembered how it felt. And compared to like Mario Galaxy or 3D World, it felt really stiff. Because yeah. back in the day, games were like this, period. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah, no, I remember. And you oh, kind of feels similar to that. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, I loved Banjo Tooie. Like, I loved mm -hmm. Banjo Tooie. It was like one of my favorite games. Um, and then like he went back to it because I didn't play for years after, and then I went back to it like a year ago, and I played it. And I was like, "This is different, more different than I remember it to be." You know, yeah. like it's not as good as I thought it was. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. Yeah, like, even Mario sixty four is showing its age when you play it. It's still oh, yeah, it's, it's still fun, but you can really feel like yeah, this is not as accurate and not as responsive as the newer games. Yeah, and it's hard to get into. Those kind of, like, it's like Final Fantasy VII. I really enjoy Final Fantasy VII, but I will never be able to get into it as much as I would have been able to get to if I played it like 15 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. And I think. Yo, people... did you guys see this? I sent you a link. 
Uh, I know this guy. Oh, yeah, the rabbit amiibos, I yeah. I just saw that. I was like, they're everywhere. I, yeah. I just really hate rabbit peach. The more I yeah. look at her, the more I want to punch her in the face. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like the word uncanny is like all you need. That's all you need for that. I just, I don't even know. I love how it's like Ubisoft confidential, do not share. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh. so fake. But, um, yeah. Oh, so, Emma, did you think of uh, new things you would want to put into uh, Animal Crossing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My main thing was, obviously, you gotta keep the mayor mechanic from New Leaf, because it's the whole reason New Leaf is the best in the series. Right. Um, but I do want, like, my least favorite in the series is Animal Crossing City Folk, because yeah. I just didn't feel that it added all that much onto Wild World, and then just, it wasn't... Like, I don't know, the online was great and all. I didn't use it that much, though, because, like, more people had that game for the DS. But, like, I really enjoyed the city, and I'd want something more like that. Maybe take elements of Happy Home Designer, the, um, like, camping ground update for New Leaf and Animal Crossing City Folk and, like, blend that into, like, a place you can go to. Something along those lines. Yeah, that's my main thing. What they could do is kind of merge Harvest Moon with Animal Crossing because they are already similar. Mm. So you... Um, and that's why people co also try to compare Stardew Valley to Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing a little bit. So right. this could work and the online needs to be better, a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You can just, yeah. It would be cool if you could access your friend list and say, okay, oh, Shelfie has uh, Animal Crossing, I want to see her town. And you can just click on the name and you instantly go to that town. Instead of like having share, having to share codes or anything. I yeah, think, please no codes. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, no. I think the only worry that people that Nintendo might have is like say you visit someone else's town and you start like destroying the trees and like but maybe they could do do something where like if you visit someone's town you can't interact with anything. You can just make it so they can only view it or you can have can say, okay, this is a friend, he can change stuff and others who aren't selected can only view it. Yeah. That would yeah. work, yeah. And marriage. There should definitely be marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would want to marry Isabel, so. Oh god. <laughs> but like, yeah, they're like, they're, I don't know, there's a lot they could do with Animal Crossing to make it like much more um, widespread. What do you mean with widespread? Like, I guess like maybe a little quests you could go on and like Oh, know, yeah, just... no, that would make sense. Yeah. You, you mean... used to be able to ask for jobs in oh. the GameCube version of Animal Crossing way back. Did they, did they take that out? Oh, they took that out, yeah. That was, oh. like, back in Wild World, you can't <laughs> ask for jobs anymore. Oh, yeah, no, they should bring that back, because I always play... Like... to pay off Tom Nook. <laughs> yeah, that. that's true. <laughs> well, like, I played off... I played, you know, I played Animal Crossing GameCube for many many hours and then I had City Folk but I couldn't get into it because it's just I don't know there's nothing about City Folk and then and I didn't and I really want New Leaf but then like I was like oh well like there's gonna be a new Animal Crossing suit on the Wii U I'll just get that and then that never happened so then yeah, Amiibo Festival happened and you didn't get it why? <laughs> I know I should have got the game of the I should have got the game of the year that released last year but yeah. <laughs> I just didn't <laughs> It is still sitting at my electronics store and no one buys it. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. No, like, I 100% I, I believe that Animal Crossing was in development for the Wii U, but then it got, you know, delayed for Switch. Yeah, probably. Or they had all the assets and said, let's make a quick cash in game with it. And well, the thing is, the thing as well is, remember they had the Animal Crossing app? 
Ah, uh, yeah, on Wii U. On the Wii U. Yeah. yeah, what was the point of that? <laughs> there was no point of it. Nothing. I oh, it was know. like just to take surveys, basically. Yeah, like, like it was just weird because like it ended at a certain time too, so that's when everyone thought, oh, that Animal Crossing must be releasing around that time, and then it never yeah. did. <laughs> that was. I weird. think it still like works to this very day. Does it? Because I, I Animal Crossing. Yeah, the what, what's it called again? Oh, it's something Bora Bora Plaza. Plaza. It's a Bora 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 Plaza. Plaza. Yeah, something like that. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I don't think I had it. I think I installed it after like a day or so because I wasn't interested in it. I don't know. I went on it and I was like, oh, the visuals are so nice. This must be what made a Animal Crossing Wii U will look like. <laughs> and then just, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would so buy Animal Crossing Switch day one. Definitely. It has a good chance of being announced this year. I think. Yeah. Because people want it, and people know it, so... Well, just imagine Japan, like, like <laughs> having Monster Hunter, um, Dragon Ball Quest, Dragon Ball, Dragon, Ball. Dragon Quest. That's coming too. Uh, Dragon Quest. Yeah, that's true. Dragon Quest, um, Splatoon, Pokemon, possibly, <laughs> and Animal Crossing. Oh, man. And that's an unbeatable, like, you can't beat that. Yeah. But they need to produce enough switchless. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They need to they need to release that like tomorrow. Yeah. Have but it is seen... crazy, like I Oh go yeah. ahead. Have you seen the pictures of people still lining up for switches around blocks? That's what I was about to say. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god, yeah. I was about to say that. <laughs> like damn, and it's been three months now. Almost yeah, exactly. <laughs> You, you know it's a, it, you know it's a successful console when it's you know when people are still lining up for it three months after launch. You no, know it's successful when the internet is all salty about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh they're they're so angry. Yeah, they're so angry I love it. it. <laughs> yeah, like, just well because everyone thought the switch was gonna fail. I mean, I so no. don't care how much units consoles sell, but the salt is pretty funny. <laughs> well, the thing is, people still bash like the whole January conference. They're like, "Oh, it was a terrible." So I'm like, uh, "Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade Two, um, a new, um, new uh, No Man Heroes, Splatoon Two, Arms, Zelda Beautiful Trailer, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. you know, indie games. Like, um, what else?" Um, Mal, uh, uh, Bomberman, etc. got announced. I'm like, and it was a bad conference. <laughs> <laughs> the first Look at the half Wii U. was dragging a bit, that's right, but the, yeah. the second half was just game after game after game. That was amazing. Exactly. I mean, just go watch E3 2012 again <laughs> and see yeah. the comparison. Literally, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I let the people be salty. I don't really care about it anymore. It's funny to see, but... And there was one guy. Do you guys remember the dude who always said, Oh, AMD is working on the Switch. AMD is working on it. It's confirmed, basically. How uh -huh. What's his name? Super Metal it's Dave, working? I believe. No, Super Metal Dave Wait, who? who always kept saying, AMD is working on the Switch. Oh, the yeah. yeah. It's basically confirmed. NVIDIA is absolutely impossible. Can't happen. Well... No, I remember I, I, I saw the video of... Um, I went to his saw, channel, <laughs> was on his YouTube channel you know, I, a few days ago. He is still salty as fuck about it. Well, Damn. I, did, did, did you see the reaction video to the, when the Switch found out? <laughs> yeah. His face was like, you could slowly see the smile go down. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Uh, and he's now running around saying, the Vita 2 is real, it's coming, there's an AMD chip coming out, and it will be so oh much God. better than the Switch. You know what? Vita 2 will oh. release when um, Kingdom Hearts 3 releases, okay? <laughs> and that's <laughs> never, so... <laughs> yeah. And apparently Final Fantasy VII is just now starting production. Yeah, the remake. 
They announced yeah. it two <laughs> freaking years ago. I mean, what? You, you know what? Like, I don't even care. I don't even care if Final Fantasy VII Remake doesn't come to Switch because by the time it releases, the Switch Three will release. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So 2025 should be yeah. a good year I for mean, that. <laughs> I, I mean, I shouldn't feel disappointed at this point because, like, if it doesn't release the Switch Spike, there's a Switch Two that I can release for. <laughs> yeah. There's a plane somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's my house. <laughs> I don't know, I'm surprised you guys could hear that. Well, it's far. Um, <laughs> but anyway, back to E3. Yeah. Uh, would you guys go if you had the money and time? Because I was gonna go. Can. Yeah, I, I think I would try. I was gonna go. I was going to apply, but my friends convinced me it was a stupid idea. <laughs> I shouldn't uh, listen to them. That would be long as flight for me. I don't think I would. <laughs> it would be like, oh, it would probably be like a 10 hour, 12 hour flight for me too. Yeah. But I'd still go for fun. And, you know, to enjoy, and to see LA and then like go to E3 and to see my photo and Reggie in person, <laughs> that would be pretty exciting. Yeah. Could last up to him. Hey, Miyamoto, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I would be like one of those guys. I'd be like, like, I remember I saw I saw a story where someone went to the bathroom where Reggie wasn't using the washroom, <laughs> and so then he met him in the bathroom, <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, hey, Reggie," <laughs> and then they were talking, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, you know, I'm so excited that you're here after you know whatever a three," and then I was like, "I'd be that guy," and be like, "Oh, hey, Reggie, yeah," I'm like, "All right." Oh yeah, I've, I've met many people like you, and then it's on the inside, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, Reggie <laughs> is in the bathroom with me. Oh my god, I hope I'm not being weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd probably like stare at him really weirdly, and then everybody would be like, oh god, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I will not meet Reggie. <laughs> Unless he comes yeah. to Europe, no chance. I'd be happy. Like, I'd be super happy. Maybe Mr. Shibata, the European Nintendo guy, is at Gamescom, but I won't go to Gamescom this year, so. You could try. You could. <laughs> Well, I remember, like, I also heard a story about, like, this guy who was at a bar, and Iwata was there, and they they were talking, and, they, and then Iwata was kind of drunk, <laughs> and then he was talking. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. I was like, I, like, if it was me, I'd be like, tell me about the games. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about all the secret games that's happening. <laughs> and how are we at Nintendo? Yeah. I don't know oh, how I... I would react if I meet someone from Nintendo, just... Out of yeah. coincidence, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'd be, I'd be, uh, pretty, uh, oh, I'd be hyped. I, like, I, I'd be super hyped. Let's just say that. Yeah. I, I applied at Ubisoft yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's have to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, in Montreal, or? Oh, no, Halifax. Oh, or, no, I don't know that was from Halifax, Halifax, too. Yeah, yeah, There's no, so they many just studios. Ah, yeah, they okay, just cool. Yeah. So, should we talk quickly about Microsoft and Sony too? Now that we're uh, talking about E3. Sure, Spider Man. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it at this point because I might be getting a PlayStation 4 this year too. So, I'll be looking, but. No, I will be looking after I get up because it's literally at 3 a.m. for me. So <laughs> the Sony conference. Yeah. So yeah, I don't yeah. know why Sony just didn't move their conference up to where Microsoft moved, like you know, place was. Yeah, because it's a U.S. conference and it's in the, the afternoon in the states. So oh yeah, well, it's, it's focused more on the U.S. market than it's it's on Europe. Europe has Gamescom for this stuff. That's true. It's just. Like in in um, it's still it's still like in that. Way. What time is it in the U.S. in Los Angeles? What time does Sony's conference usually start? For me, yeah. Like for you, no, three o'clock. But like, um, oh, Los I Angeles to start like four p.m. or something. Nine PM? hours. I think six p.m. is Sony. Yeah, yeah. I'm why not, they I'm not sure though. They should just had. They should just had it in the morning. Yeah. Like everybody else, yeah. Yeah. Because like, now there's like a huge space in the morning. Yeah. With this, no conference. Like. Oh, this sucks so bad. You go to bed after like 
Microsoft, Ubisoft, everybody's done. Okay, it's, then there's usually like an hour break until Sony. That's when I go to bed. Then I wake up, yeah. check the Sony news, and then I have a whole day to wait for Nintendo for 6 p.m. That's terrible. Like for me, I'm like I'm like blessed, grateful. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm I'm like. I have it like Sony's conference is like nine o'clock at night, and then Nintendo's conference is at one one p.m. Yeah, so that's pretty, pretty cool. good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Microsoft should be really quick because I don't have a clue except for Scorpio. Who knows? The floor space uh, is so small. What do they show? <laughs> um. Let's see. They can show. Um, a, Forza, well, a new Forza, which comes every year, will probably be shown. Yeah, well, they confirmed Halo 6 won't be there, so that's like makes the yeah. conference a lot less exciting. <laughs> and then they confirmed, you know, like, what else won't be there? <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like they confirmed more won't be there than will be actually there, but. Um, I mean, their floor space is like half the size of Sony and Nintendo, so. Well, I don't know, it's just so, it's hard to read Microsoft, because it's like, you know they want to sell the Scorpio, but it's like, it doesn't really, they, like, most of their games are coming to PC too, so yeah. it's like, why do I need a, why do I need it? Like, why? What's the point? I have a feeling they think if they have the strongest console, people will just buy it because it's the strongest console. And people would be proud of the Pro. Yeah, but there was a lot more going on with Sony, not just that they had the strongest console. They were also cheaper by a hundred bucks for one. Yeah, yeah. They and have the exclusives. More exclusive. Okay, in the early years of PlayStation 4, the first year wasn't really great in terms of exclusives, but yeah. Microsoft wasn't either, so... Yeah, the only thing Microsoft had over Sony was Dead Rising 3. That's yeah. the only title at launch that Microsoft beat Sony with. Um, but then after that, it's just like Sony just came out with exclusive after I mean, exclusive. Since like... last year, Sony does have a somewhat decent line of exclusives. Nothing compared to Nintendo this year, but still. Oh yeah, like I'm excited. Like for Sony, I'm excited for um, what's that called? It's um, that zombie game. It's like it's not a zombie. It's like that like when they're running. They showed the trailer last year. Ah, uh, is it Days Gone? I don't remember. Yeah, Days Gone. Yeah, Days Gone. Yeah, there's Days Gone, there's the Spider-Man PS4, um, and then there's God of War, which looks really good. Yeah, I haven't played a Call of War game before, so I don't know. Maybe... Probably oh, too, it just looked good. <laughs> yeah, but... And Last of Us too. What I would play right now is Horizon, probably, if I get the PlayStation 4. It's, it's the first game that, that I would want to play right now. And... I think there's a rumor about a new bundle with uh, Jack and Dexter and Crash, which would be a good bundle to get. I'm not super hyped for both games, but they're probably okay for nostalgic reasons. So, mm. And if it's not too expensive. If it's like <laughs> 350, I would be like, uh, no guys, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if so Okay. If Sony really wants to win my heart, they would um, help make a Spyro remake, like Spyro Trilogy remake. That would win my heart. And Dark Cloud 3. That could also win yeah. my heart. But I would probably buy the PlayStation for exclusives. I have a PC for uh, third-party games. I don't really... <laughs> Nintendo Carol. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> but that fits so well. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> That's just it's it's art right there. I don't know what else to call it's it. It's print it out and hang it on the wall. Oh I'm god. Like... So everyone watching this, um, I just blinked them um, uh, a picture of uh, oh, I will Karen put it in in there in post. I will <laughs> put it in there. They will see it. It's 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 everything we've always wanted. I hey. saved it, so I can put it in there later. I wonder, if, I wonder if her character design was based off Karen. Hmm. I feel like would, we need to know that. Would be a big coincidence, but <laughs> it's <an> awesome <laughs> <picture>. <laughs> Oh, it was, it's just too beautiful. Yeah. 
so Microsoft. <laughs> yes. I, 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 got that. Predict, I think. What do you think? What, what do you think of an in a Goldberg order? I have no idea. I just I don't even know. I think they will focus a lot on Scorpio and its specs, saying, "Oh, it's the." Only console that does native 4K on all of our Xbox One titles, and we'll hear this a lot. <laughs> yeah. And that's basically my prediction for the entire conference. <laughs> yeah, and basically. Scorpio is the most powerful console. Buy it, buy it, buy it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's. The thing is, with powerful consoles, they can only be powerful for so long. And then they'll be out. They will be beat by someone else that is stronger. So it's like Microsoft can't do the whole "oh, we have the best powerful console" because that's only going to work for only so long. Yeah. You know. I don't know. But I don't know. Like I, it makes me wonder though. I, Nintendo will release the SDK or whatever it's called. Um, um, oh, the supplemental computing yeah, thing. Yeah. To make yeah. like the Switch more powerful. I don't think they so, will because. It's selling. Why would they need to? <laughs> That's true. But like the PS4 was selling too. If it wasn't selling, probably to salvage it, they would probably try to release it. But I don't think they would. Uh, they would do this now. Yeah, I mean, I could see it released by like maybe 2020, just to help boost the switch sales of the switch. Or maybe yeah, like maybe. if the PS5 releases, they'll help. They'll help compete against that. I don't think PlayStation Five will be out this soon. The PS4 is doing really well, so that's true. The only that, one who's forced to react is Microsoft now because well, it's no just, one wants it, an Xbox anymore right now. Well, that's just the interesting thing. Xbox sales, like they're they're well, not even at thirty million yet, and they're like. And the Scorpio, yeah, Microsoft says it won't get any exclusives. Like, it won't get anything that Xbox One won't get. But, like, mm-hmm. well, like, what if, like, it's so much more powerful that I feel like it can get exclusives eventually. It will eventually. I think so, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the, the original Xbox One is going to hold it back. Yeah, that's the thing. And, and I don't know, like, it's just, it's just so weird with Microsoft. They're, like, they're, like, the, they're, Nintendo is the redhead stepchild of the gaming industry, but like Microsoft is too in a way. <laughs> I think this will. I think this will change with the Switch, though. Yeah. Because. No more redhead that, stepchild. Yeah. Because. A blonde haired blue eyed stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think it will do well enough for people to. See Nintendo as a competitor again. <laughs> That's the thing, and you know, like if it if the Switch remains sales like the good third parties come, then the Switch will go like like you saw the Microsoft like I don't know if you saw the Microsoft right, but Microsoft had the survey. Uh, what do you think of the Switch? Uh, what do you like most about the Switch? Like, their <laughs> Microsoft is taking the Switch seriously, and Sony yeah. probably is too. And they're like, oh no, this thing's actually selling well. It's not like the Wii U. <laughs> yeah. But I think uh, Sony isn't spreading it because the PlayStation 4 is still doing well. The only one who's yeah, probably like, afraid right now is Microsoft. And that's the thing. Sony's not going to care. As long as the PS4 keeps selling, Sony's not going to care that Switch exactly. sells. Yeah. So they have no reason to overreact right now. Yeah, exactly. Microsoft, on the other hand, has yeah, to they Because, like, the second the Switch gets actual third, like, good third-party support, then Microsoft's going to be like, oh god, we don't have that over Nintendo anymore. Yeah. But let's see what happens. Anything else on um, Sony and Microsoft? Um, hopefully Sony's conference is like last year's conference, where it's just game after game. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. Who do you think will actually win E3 this year? Or win in quotation marks? Because well, who will have the best perception or who will have get the it's, best it's, uh, positive press out of it? Let's put it this way. It's interesting because, you know, Nintendo has the, like, this is the first year E3 for Switch. 
Mm -hmm. Um, This is the first theoretically real E3 for Scorpio, and then Sony doesn't have a console they're going to announce, so and they know they have to compete against Nintendo and Microsoft, so they're definitely not going to hold back. So it's interesting. But you know what? They we might be all winners. (laughs) I hope Nintendo isn't holding back. Oh God, no! (laughs) That's my big idea. I think oh, the Switch is selling. We don't have to do a lot at E3. That's my biggest That's fear true. that they will do this. <laughs> That's true. But then again, the Wii U didn't sell and they still held back. <laughs> so I think, like, no, I think uh, hopefully I'm praying Nintendo understands that just because they're selling doesn't mean they should, like, kind of slow down. They should yeah. just keep hitting punches after punch. I mean, like, I just saw right now um, Nintendo aired an arms commercial during the NBA. Wow. Yeah, I saw that picture too. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, like, that just shows me Nintendo's taking it seriously. And we have a lot of celebrities actually talk about having a Switch, too, on Twitter and everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. The last one I oh, yeah. saw was from a WWE uh, wrestler, Cesaro. Yeah. Who, ironically, yeah. is from Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you never saw any um, celebrities holding the Wii U. Yeah. No, <laughs> never did. Yeah, it's and there was this both this I think soccer team on a plane. That's that picture, and everyone had a switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the French. Yeah. Like what was the was it the was it the French or like the the like when it was um I don't know their game was out or something or there was raining or something and then they just playing the switch or something. I don't recall. I don't remember. It was like a celebrity. It was a team like soccer's like huge team or something. They were all playing this, the switch <laughs> and they're tweeting about it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember, but it's nice to see. Yeah. Okay, so I think this covers E3. And let's hope fanboys won't get into too much wars at E3, but let's face it, it they will. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's a staple of E3. So everyone, what is it? I think let's hope that fanboys will not go too crazy this E3, but they will. <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> like, <laughs> of course, like, you know, like, oh, um, the best to re- announce, and Shimui 3 will release this year. <laughs> <laughs> but, for everybody out there who isn't a fanboy, who actually enjoys the conferences, no matter who has them, enjoy E3, and Maybe we'll be. We don't have a plan for E3 100% yet, but maybe we will be live. It's for Nintendo. Maybe we won't. We're not exactly sure yet, but we'll let you know in time. Mm. So, yeah, I think if there's nothing else to say, we should wrap this one up now. Right. Cool. So. Thanks for listening. Thanks for Shelfie and Milo for being here again. Thank you for having me as usual. Thank you. You're welcome. And have a nice E3, everybody. And see you guys on the other side. Bye. Peace.